Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to use a very cool software tool called PCB Library Expert Pro. PCB Library Expert is a software that helps you create footprints and pad stacks. So we're going to do an example footprint and pad stack for ORCAD. All right, when you install the software and then you open it for the first time, you'll be asked about installation or install options. So that's under the help thing and then you just click OK. So now it's going to ask you what's your default CAD tool. I'm going to go with ORCAD PCB, not ORCAD layout. That's a different thing. And Allegro is technically different from ORCAD. So do ORCAD PCB. Right. So let's say you want to make a service model device, ball grid array, something, and then choose your demo, right? Then you click OK. You know you're good when you have this little green dot, no errors, no warnings. Then you want to go to your tool, like your, whatever, there's a wrench, what is, I don't know what that is. And then you can do a 3D step for your default format, but go at ORCAD PCB, click OK. Now, oh, we we'll get a really happy guy over here. Now, use package name. You can use package name for it. Set as default format. Well, I want to set this last. So let's go to version 17.2, 17.2, quarter, QIR, whatever, something. And then choose your output directory. I'll choose something like my documents folder here. And let's go under hardware projects, then choose choose parts footprints. Now I'll make a new folder called PCB Library Expert Pro. Click OK. Now that will be where my part gets outputted. You can name it whatever you want to, but we'll go with the package type for the IPC names. I like that it has the IPC standard names. Parts per script, one part. No probe, that's fine. Run scripts in background, no. Don't run it in background. Auto confirm, less of, loss of accuracy, that's fine. Place 3D step models via script. Hmm, I mean, hey, let's not worry about that right now. Truncate long names. Actually, you know, hmm. No, no, we don't do it. Auto confirm SSM save. Yeah, I'd say so. Solder mask top, solder mask bottom. Yes, we want all these things. Now, for the 3D model version AP214, quality high, I like high quality models. And then the output directory, we can say my documents, hardware projects, parts. PCB library expert. Really, maybe I should make a new folder called 3D. Because hmm. it's parts. Oh. Anyway, PCB library expert. Let's just go with that for now. Through hole lead extend to, I don't remember what that means. Use dot step for your thing. Vertical axis is Y. I'm going to use Z for my vertical axis. Material condition, normal, sure. This lets you know the progress. Let's see, choose, okay, after you've made all your settings and you check 3D model, which it already has, check mark, D, set as default format. Then I'm going to save entries as preferences. Okay, let's go ahead and create. Now, every time I used to hit create and close it wouldn't close so i'll just do create okay there's a user guide here so you look in the user guide and if you want well, let's see orcad yeah understanding the script files this gives you information on understanding the script files right List all saved to text file. Okay, scripts that include skill will only execute by Allegro L with performance and above. Now, I think there's a workaround for this. Whether you're using ORCAD Lite or just ORCAD Full, 
PCB Editor Professional version. I'm using ORCAD Pro. Um, there's certain things you can do. Let's see if it just works the normal way. So let's go to Hardware Projects, Parts, Footprints. Yeah. And I have my step model here. That's great. This opens with e drawings on my Mac, this 3D model. But anyway, let's go into the part. And what is this, right? Well, first of all, if you try to double click and then just do ORCAD like this, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It's looking for ORCAD underscore PCB underscore designer underscore basics. Hmm. Interesting. And then it'll try to open again. Probably get the same error. Oh, wait a second. Oh. That's interesting. So again, this is ORCAD Professional that I'm using. I don't think, I don't know if it'll work on ORCAD Standard, ORCAD PCB Standard, uh, but it made the footprint. Okay, so maybe they did like a workaround or something. Let's look at this batch file. Let's right click and then edit the batch file. So see, it's looking for Allegro product ORCAD PCB Editor Basics. Here's the thing. You can modify or edit this as needed, depending on your software you have installed. So if you have ORCAD Lite, then what you want to do, let's say you have ORCAD PCB Editor Lite, right? Somehow, if you still have it. What you can do is go to wherever your, wherever your icon might say ORCAD Editor PCB Lite. And then you would um, pick it. Let's see. Oh, uh, no. I have 17 by 2, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, just for the record, the, the black screen that came up with PCB Editor at 17.4, but I also have 17.2 installed. It's just not visible here. I do not have ORCAD Lite installed on this computer. Anyway. Let's see where let's say you have your icon, right? And what you can do is you can right click on the icon and then choose more and then you can open the file location. Then what you want to do is right click. Let's I'm pretending that this is ORCAD Lite because it, it obviously works for Pro. But uh, in case you have Lite, you want to go to your properties and then under here where it says target this is going to tell you what this is going to have a specific line or phrase or whatever or something in here that says something like allegro space dash something something okay and you want to copy that allegro space dash something something and put it into the notepad file you want to replace this with your allegro dash something something space dash s for save i believe and then close the close this uh, window yeah it's called a window and you get that from the shortcut so if you're using P arcad light find that shortcut that opens up ORCAD PCB Editor Lite. And the, you know, the one that prompts you and says, hey, uh, do you want to go into light mode? No, no Allegro license found. Do you want to go into light mode? That's going to point you to something that says something like ORCAD or Allegro space dash, blah, 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 blah. You want to replace that text in the tech, in the batch file, in the notepad with this. Okay. So if we wanted, we could. Let's practice it with this thing. First of all, let's check to see if ORCAD actually pulls up. Okay, it does. Let me double click on it just to make sure this, this is the one that's connected to a license. 
Sure. Now the BGA was made, looks nice. But I only open it to verify that we're using a, a correct file in the location. I'm going to show you that you can actually edit this batch file. Right click edit. And then we're going to paste that in here, save it. Now if I run the batch file again, let's say I, I had made the pad file and everything. Um, it's fine. Maybe it'll overwrite it. Or at least all we need to see is that it generates some things and then opens the software. Ah, see? This time, we don't get an error thrown. So see how I was looking for ORCAD PCB Editor Basics and it threw an error that first time. But this time, because I copied and pasted where that shortcut was pointing to from its properties field, and I put it in the batch file, then it generates it no problem. So whatever you're using for Allegro or ORCAD PCB Editor, Again, you want to go to the shortcut you normally use to access your ORCAD PCB editor. Then you want to right click on that shortcut, then go to more, open file location. It'll find the shortcut. Then you right click the shortcut because how they have it set up, you can't just go straight to the Allegro, to the Allegro file necessarily. You need to go in the shortcut. Then go to properties of the shortcut. Copy the last bit past, past that after this backslash. Copy that. Then you want to, like whatever it is, yours might say Allegro space dash ORCAD or Allegro space dash PCB designer basics or Allegro dot exe and that's it or dot or orcad dot exe in my case and then you go to your footprints fold i mean you go to wherever you have the batch file saved then you open that batch file you 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 edit and then you you go wherever they have this allegro dash blah 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 before the dash s and you paste your your text in there save it and then close it run it it should work just fine if you run into any issues feel free to email me at kirsch at hasofu.com you can also email me at learn at well no don't email me at kirsch at learn or get online.com anymore um just email me at kirsch at hasofu.com and i may not respond immediately i may respond after a week yeah, I may respond after three months. You know, if you want a guaranteed response in a timely fashion for a specific problem, then we may need to do a consulting or something like that. Uh, but, or you could do, go on my Patreon and do that. That's why I do immediate response. But on occasion, I'll respond immediately or, or within a week, I would say to a specific question if I just, you know, know the answer. Anyway, that's how you do that. You run the batch file, the footprint gets created, uh, and, and then uh, if that works for you, great. Comment down below if it does not working for you, you know, uh, also comment down below. Let's click OK, and let's look at the footprint. Yeah, now the step model was not placed on here but you can do the step back match and it has local fiducials on here too so that's great let's click save yes and um, yeah good luck